Lots of people are scared of spiders, and with good reason, because even though they're tiny, they can also be deadly. Some of them have a bite so fierce, you're never going to forget it. These are 20 of the world's worst spider bites. Number 20. Brown Recluse Spider One of the most venomous spiders in the United States, the recluse can be mainly found across the western and southern states, but they are fairly far-flung, so don't imagine that you're safe just because you live in the middle. These spiders can be found as far north as Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, and Nebraska, so they're pretty much everywhere. You may know the recluse by a different name. They're often called violin spiders or fiddleback spiders on the account of the shape of the front of their bodies. But the thing to really watch out for with these creepy crawlies is their super nasty bite. Yes, these spiders have a necrotic bite, meaning that it causes death to body tissue. The venom in the recluse spider's bite destroys the blood vessels around the site of the bite and can make a massive ulcer on the skin. The trouble with this is that these wounds can be extremely slow to heal, which makes them vulnerable to infection, and this is what can result in the death of a victim of this spider's bite. So that's utterly charming, a long and slow death. Although it is important to say that death from these spider bites is actually rare, but I would still be very careful if I were you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. If you're scared of spiders, you don't want to watch this one. The image here is of an artist's recreation of something that a California man claims to have experienced. He insists a spider of this size actually invaded his home, claiming that it bit him and that he only survived given the scale of the wound. But what do you think? Is it true or maybe it's an exaggeration? As always, comment down below using the hashtag sweet topic and let me know your opinion in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Venezuela Sun Tiger Tarantula there are loads of different sorts of tarantula out there in the world, a fact that I'm certain you're thrilled to discover, and they live in a whole host of different countries spreading far and wide across the globe, but this one, well, it's extra bitey. The Venezuelan sun tiger tarantula hails from the northern parts of South America and is especially prevalent in Venezuela, Guyana, and northern Brazil. And although it doesn't have that nasty spiky hair thing going on that other tarantulas have for defensive purposes, it actually doesn't need them. This spider has the most potent venom instead. They are a spider that should not be handled, although you aren't that silly, now are you? And they also have very strong defensive instincts, so if they do feel threatened or cornered by anything, including you, they will defend themselves, and this species can only do that by biting. Now, a bite from a Venezuelan sun tiger tarantula is no picnic in the park. If you're unfortunate enough to upset one of these wee beasties, then you can expect a delightful selection of post-bite symptoms, which includes extreme pain, dizziness, muscle spasms, sweating, and vomiting. A veritable festival of fun. Number 18. Indian Ornamental Tarantula from one type of tarantula to another, and this time we have the Indian ornamental tarantula, don't be fooled by its name though, these spiders aren't just laying around looking pretty all day long, they have a little bit of a temper. Before I go any further, it's important to mention that for some reason spiders are especially likely going to be around with a whole range of aliases. Perhaps it's a way of being extra sneaky and maybe it helps them sneak into bananas undetected, turn up in different countries without any anyone suspecting a thing. But the truth is, they do have a lot of different names, so don't be fooled into thinking that they aren't mean, whatever name they happen to be going by that week. The Indian ornamental tarantula is also known as the Indian ornamental tree spider, the king parachute spider, the regal parachute spider, and simply the Indian ornamental. A bite from one of these spiders may not actually kill you, there are no recorded deaths from this spider bite but it is known as medically significant. 
And that's not a euphemism that I like the sound of. Their bite is venomous and known for its extreme pain-causing properties, and they're not afraid to use it if they feel threatened and can't run away. Number 17. Brazilian Wandering Spider the distinctly sinister-sounding wandering spider has the dubious privilege of being considered the world's most venomous spider by the Guinness Book of World Records, but just how bad could they really be? Well, it turns out that it could be very, very bad indeed. So if you yourself are wandering the Brazilian rainforest, be careful where you step. These extraordinary arachnids don't build webs to catch their prey. They actually wander around on the forest floor during the night and hunt their prey down. This scary spider is a fan of both ambush hunting and the classic direct attack, and although they mainly hunt and eat other spiders and insects, they're also known to munch on mice, reptiles, and amphibians, so they won't bite a human in order to eat it as such, but it will bite if threatened or surprised. And it's going to hurt. You should probably know that these things have found their way to places all over the world by hiding their egg sacs in bunches of bananas, the sneaky so-and-sos. A family in London had to have their house fumigated after an infestation of baby wandering spiders popped in for a tea. They were lucky to avoid being bitten by a bigger version, though. A bite from a Brazilian wandering spider will usually go like this. It begins with extreme burning pain where the victim was bitten, followed by sweating and goosebumps, then the nasty stuff, which can include high or low blood pressure and faster slow heartbeat. This varies as the body tries to figure out how to handle the sustained attack, and then a combination of sickness, stomach pains, vertigo, blurred vision, hypothermia, heavy sweating, and convulsions, all as the shock sets in. Of course, the severity of the reaction is going to depend on how much venom is actually in the bite, but you can't tell that until it's too late. The good news? <laughs> well, if you're unlucky enough to be bitten by one of these spiders, you can seek immediate medical treatment, which will probably fix you right up. The things that they can do with anti-venom and all that are really amazing these days. Number 16. Harvestman. Now here's a little myth dispelling to help you sleep easier. If you can somehow forget about almost everything else that we've been talking about, that is. The harvestman is a spider like arachnid, but it's not a true spider. These are the creepy crawlies that are often called daddy long legs, and you may have heard a silly but extremely well-known urban legend about these bugs. The myth states that the harvestmen are not only venomous, but that they have the most deadly venom of all spiders. They're just too weak and tiny to penetrate the skin. This is absolute nonsense. They are not venomous at all for a start, and they also don't have fangs, just soppy little pinchers that are not bitey at all. Sometimes they do get muddled up with cellar spiders, which look similar but can bite, although they are not deadly to humans, so that's all a relief then. Number 15. False Katipo. Although being a false black widow means that these spiders are less deadly than their genuine counterparts, it doesn't mean that a bite from one of these spiders is any fun in the least. These girls also go by many other pseudonyms, the false black widow, the false katipo, the false button spider, the cupboard spider, and the Australian name of brown house spider. They resemble widow spiders, but their bite is never as serious as that of the black widow. A bite from one of these phony ladies can give the recipient a dose of nausea, widespread but mercifully short-lived pain, and muscle spasms. So I wouldn't be welcoming these things into your home with open arms, apart from all that bitey stuff. You can never quite be sure if it's just a spider pretending to be deadly or if it's the genuine article. And really, who wants to take the risk to find out? Number 14. Yellow Sack Spider Another spider with one of those fun, necrotic bites? Huzzah! The yellow sack spider is a native of the United States and can be found all the way south into Mexico and throughout South America as well. These nasty biters are venomous and they can often be found hanging around inside people's houses. The cheeky things. If you do happen to find one of these arachnids indoors, it's best not to fiddle with it, as a bite from one of these yellow sack spiders can give humans an especially unpleasant lesion on the skin. This would be the result of the cytotoxin 
that the bite contains, and that is that gross necrotic stuff, which both destroys cells and impairs cell function. Even though an extreme reaction to a bite is actually rare, it is still possible to get a red swollen welt where the spider bites. And these ladies, well, they're not shy either. A female yellow sack spider will bite first and ask questions later if she's defending her eggs. Actually, she won't ask any questions because she's a spider. Number 13. White-tailed spider. This poor old spider was always being blamed for nasty ulcerated bites that were clearly the work of another, much ruder spider, but for years the white-tailed spider took the blame. She's since been acquitted of all those crimes, and no real evidence has ever been presented for this spider even having a necrotic bite, so how could she have done all those horrible lesions? Indigenous to Australia, the white-tailed spider is surprisingly undeadly, considering the company that she keeps. country in which almost everything can kill you soon as look at you, and this arachnid is not even up to much small-scale slow-death murder through infected bites. Although a bite from a white-tailed spider is venomous, the symptoms are more mild than any other spider bites, a small mercy in the land of all the most bitey spiders. And if you're bitten by one of these, the result is most likely going to be a red mark, accompanied by a bit of swelling and some itching. Occasionally, if you do get a big dose, you may feel nauseous or even experience vomiting and a headache. Number 12. Red Back Spider Here we are again with lady spiders being dangerous, and the male ones being, well, kind of feeble. Sorry. These spiders are closely related to our old frenemies, the Black Widow species, so that probably hints at their less than social habits. Anyway, this venomous spider is of course native to Australia, a land of all the most killy creatures. There are also some colonies of redbacks to be found in New Zealand, Japan, and oddly, Belgium. This additional distribution outside of Australia is the result of accidental introduction into these countries, causing a surprise population to appear. That must be a tricky one to explain. Oh, sorry darling, I appear to have imported a deadly spider, and it has established a family in the greenhouse. Whoops! Since only the females have a dangerous bite, and these spiders pretty much stick to their webs, the risk of being bitten is quite rare. But even so, this is not something you'd want to risk. A bite from a red bat can cause such exciting symptoms as pain, sweating, weakness, nausea, and vomiting, and you'll be relieved to hear that there's an antivenom now available, and since its introduction there have been no reported deaths. Oh, huzzah! Number 11. Wolf Spider Generally, the wolf spider bite is not fatal to humans, unless that victim is allergic to spider bites, that is. But do you actually know if you're allergic to spider bites? And is it a risk that you really want to take to find out? The wolf spider is a fast and aggressive hunter, and they're known for chasing and pouncing on their prey, much like their namesakes. And although they are mostly interested in running around outside and catching prey, these spiders are not averse to biting humans if they find themselves threatened, and most bites from the wolf spider are administered in self-defense. The bite of this species is venomous, but they're not considered generally dangerous unless you have the allergies. However, the bite size will become kind of hideous, all on the account of the sheer size of this creepy crawly's fangs. Their huge fangs will cause trauma to the skin, where they penetrate, and the venom causes itchiness. It is a painful bite, something like a bee sting, but the real issue is usually the speed and quickness of the attack. That's going to give most people the will. Number 10. Funnel Web Spider Ah, back to Australia we go, home to the planet's greatest concentration of stuff that can make you instantly dead. Such a fun place, where every day offers new and exciting ways to finish you off. How about an encounter with a murderous snake, or perhaps a man-eating crocodile, or even a spider which will kill you many times over, or you know, just the regular old killer shark that'll chomp you in half just to see how you taste. 
Mmm, delicious. The funnel web spider is amongst Australia's famous deadly creatures. In the past, a bite from one of these was all but a death sentence. Mercifully, modern medicine has had an impact on the deadliness, and now there are effective antivenom treatments that will save most people. The bite itself contains a deadly cocktail of toxins that are extremely dangerous to people and monkeys. But oddly enough, it doesn't seem to be much of a problem for many other animals. The bite of a funnel web can bring a cavalcade of symptoms, beginning with a very painful bite, followed by early symptoms of sweating, tingling, and goosebumps. After that, you'll experience twitching, elevated heart rate, drooling, and high blood pressure. That's my Saturday, everyone. Then, as the toxins progress through the system, the big guns will arrive, which includes vomiting, shortness of breath, confusion, muscle spasms, general writhing, and pulmonary edema. Finally, the pupils will dilate, the body twitches uncontrollably, and the victim slips into unconsciousness as the brain swells, and then they die. What a fun one! Number 9. The Hobo Spider Mostly found in the Pacific Northwestern United States, the hobo spider most commonly hangs about in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Utah. Its name comes from its habit of skulking around beside railroad tracks, but in reality it can be found in a great many other types of places as well. They're fans of holes and cracks, and can often be discovered nestled in spaces in walls and between rocks and under debris. Now, although these spiders are sometimes referred to as the aggressive of house spider, they are generally not to be found indoors, preferring to live outside naturally. They're also not really aggressive unless you happen to be the prey, or if you're unfortunate enough to have one trapped in your clothing somehow. Then these hobo spiders bite like hell. This is usually a last resort, though as most spiders prefer to run away rather than get embroiled in a fight, especially with a gigantic human that will likely squash them. If you do get bitten by a bashful hobo spider, you can expect it to be almost painless, and it will leave a very little mark, if any. Occasionally, though, some people will have a reaction to the hobo spider bite, which may cause pain, redness, and twitching, but you'll probably be just fine. Number 8. Black Widow Spider one of the most famous, if not the most famous of all spiders, the Black Widow has a deadly sounding name and a bit of a reputation for some rather unorthodox post-coital habits. These notorious spiders are venomous, although the idea of them seems to be able to produce a fear in people that may well outweigh their ability to actually kill, which they can do by the way, but perhaps less often than you may expect. In fact, you're more than likely to be the victim of a black widow if you're a male black widow spider. The antisocial female will spend her time alone for the whole year, except the brief mating season in which she'll mate, and then more often than not terminate the romantic liaison by eating her partner. But then again, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Anyways, you should run away from the Black Widow, even if you aren't a spider, because their bite is alleged to be 15 times more powerful than that of a rattlesnake. A bite from a Black Widow will likely make you very poorly indeed. The venom can induce nausea, muscle pain, and even paralysis of the diaphragm, making it difficult to breathe. This stuff can even kill you. Luckily, fatalities are rare as spiders don't generally go around biting people all willy-nilly, they will bite only in self-defense. Children, the elderly, or people who are sick are the most at risk, but even if you aren't any of those sorts of people, please don't poke about with a black widow. That's just rude and these ladies aren't taking any nonsense. Number 7. Mouse Spider the mouse spider, or Musulina as it is properly called, was mistakenly believed to dig deep burrows into the earth like a mouse, and so it was thus named. Another of Australia's least fun offerings, the mouse spider also hangs around in Chile in South America for some reason, but they're generally found in Australia doing dangerous biting with toxic venom that can be fatal, of course. 
Fortunately for most bite victims, the worst that they're going to suffer is localized pain and bleeding, but it is a bit of a lottery, and some will even develop the more exotic and unpleasant neurotoxic symptoms. You know, the stuff like a racing heart, tingling, and much more pain. Although there are no recorded fatalities, it is probably best to avoid this spider for safety reasons. Number 6. Fringed Ornamental Tarantula If you were to imagine a really hairy and big scary spider, the kind that haunts arachnophobic nightmares, then this fringed ornamental tarantula is probably pretty close to what your brain might muster up. The fringed part of its name refers to its extreme hairiness. They were being polite though, because it's not so much ornamental as it is massive and hairy. Anyways, as well as the obvious issue, this spider has also got a rather pointy pair of fangs, which are used to deliver an extremely, in fact famously painful bite. Yes, the fringed ornamental tarantula is actually known for its excruciatingly painful bite. Now, if you find yourself in the throes of agony following a bite from one of these monsters, it may be of small comfort to know that it won't actually kill you, but you can look forward to intense pain, followed by muscle cramps and loads of spasms, so it's probably just best to give this arachnid a very wide berth indeed. Number 5. Brown Widow Spider a different color from its more famous cousin, but actually this spider should have just as dangerous of a reputation. The brown widow spider is believed to have come from the African continent, but it can be found in South America to South Africa, California to the Gulf Coast, Australia to Cyprus, and more. And they generally like to make their homes in buildings or in bushes, underneath of cars and in vegetation. These spiders are everywhere, and they have a bite on them as well. Fortunately for us dopey humans, that bite's generally less vicious than that of the Black Widow. So although the Brown Widow's venom is twice as potent and really twice as deadly as the Black Widow's, she only injects a small amount at a time when she bites. So conversely, it's a bit less likely to kill you. The species is less aggressive than the Black Widow, but there are deaths that have been attributed to the bites by this particular spider, so she's not really to be trifled with. Number 4. Camel Spider The stories that follow the creepy camel spider around the deserts of the Middle East are full of murder and intrigue, and if you were to believe everything that you heard about these insects, you might be led to think that they were gigantic with the ability to sprint as fast as a human and that they gorged themselves on the camel's insides, murdering sleeping soldiers with reckless abandon. They sound kind of insane, don't they? However, like so many of the biggest mythical tales, although they are based in truth, they're also fairly well padded with a little bit of creative license. However, there's always a little grain of truth in these tales from folklore, and these insects are often photographed using tricksy camera techniques that make the creature seem so much bigger than it actually is. Pesky internet making things up again? Who knew? In fact, these bugs are only about six inches long, so that instantly makes some of the stories about them seem much less scary now, doesn't it? Though there are all those spooky ideas out there, it turns out that camel spiders aren't actually deadly to humans. They would give you a nasty bite, but it's unlikely to do you in. However, if you are a bird or a rodent or some other insect, well, the thing's probably going to kill you and eat you, using their powerful jaws to chop their victim into a gory, pulpy mess, spewing digestive juices to liquefy flesh, and then sucking that delicious smoothie into their stomachs. Mmm, tasty. Number 3. The Six-Eyed Sand Spider now here's a fun one for all of you to enjoy. The six-eyed sand spider hangs around the deserts of southern Africa and goes by its Latin name of something that I'm not going to pronounce, which means murderer. So that likely gives you a clue as to this arachnid's hobbies. The spider likes to ambush its prey by burrowing into the sand and leaping out to surprise its victim. That scallywag. They have a super venomous bite, one dose of which can kill a bunny rat 
rabbit in under five hours, and that venom has both kinds of toxic fun stuff. It'll attack the blood vessels, causing them to leak, and it does that lovely necrotic tissue killing thing as well. The only good news is that these spiders really do live in the most remote parts of the desert wilderness, so they rarely come into contact with humans, otherwise their death tally would probably be considerably higher. Number 2. Red Widow Spider Similar to the other varieties of widow spiders, the red widow has a venomous bite that's not very pleasant, but with medieval treatment, it's less likely to do you in. Obviously, as with all these venomous sorts, if you're an older person, or especially frail, or indeed a baby, then a spider bite may have more serious consequences. Found in the palmetto scrublands of central and southern Florida, a red widow spider can be mostly seen minding her own business, feeding on insects and protecting her eggs. If you do happen to threaten those eggs, well, that's when you're likely to run into trouble. The general habitat of the red widow spider does seem to be expanding into new territory, which means that there may be increased opportunities for humans to accidentally interact with them and get a bite which will have such exciting symptoms as nausea, pain, cramping, but rarely death. So that's all right then, well, hopefully. Number 1. Goliath Bird Eater Tarantula Even in your worst of arachnophobic nightmares, you probably never conceived a spider quite like this horror. I mean, for Pete's sake, the thing is called a bird eater which is a big clue to this creature's colossal size and general creepiness. With a body the size of a fist ew, and a spanning as much as 11 inches, the Goliath bird eater stalks the rainforests of Brazil, Venezuela, French Guiana, and Suriname. It's an ambush predator, and rather than hunting, the spider just lies in wait for its prey to pass by before reaching out and grabbing it. Its favorite meal? Well, although it's named a bird eater, the spider prefers invertebrates, small rodents, or reptiles, but isn't unknown for them to munch on the occasional bird. Apart from having a creepy name and some shady hunting tactics, this spider is also a night creeper. That's right, the biggest, scariest spider in the world comes out at night to feed, like some kind of gothic horror plot. When you're all tucked up in your bed tonight, try not to think about these monsters scuttling out of their burrows and doing unspeakable night creeper things. If you thought that our threat of a centipede walking on your face was too terrifying, then how have you made it to the end of this video? You must be the bravest or maddest of viewers out there, and we bananas salute you. How did you feel about all this biting spider scariness? Are you more afraid now, or have I quelled your fears? Let me know all about your spider bite stories in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen. I'll see you next time.